क्वेश्चन फोर ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज से इज ड्रॉ अ सर्कल एंड टू लाइन पैरल टू अ गिवन लाइन सच दैट वन इज अ टेंजेंट एंड दी अदर अ सीकेंट टू द सर्कल सो बेसिकली वी हैव अ गिवन लाइन सो लेट से दिस लाइन हेयर लाइन एल इज द लाइन गिवन टू अस नाउ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ अ सर्कल एंड टू लाइन्स पैरल टू दिस लाइन एल सच दैट वन ऑफ द लाइन्स इज अ टेंजेंट to the circle and the other is a secant to the circle so by drawing uh, i i assume that the question means we have to construct so we have to construct a circle and two lines so a circle is easy to construct we just take any point o as our center and draw a circle so here's a circle that i've drawn now for this circle we have to draw two lines one a tangent and one a secant such that both of them are parallel to this line l so how can we do that well think about it for a few moments before you go forward it's very easy so here's what we are going to do from the through the center o through the center of the circle o we are going to draw a line that's perpendicular to the given line l okay so this is easy to do you know how to construct a line perpendicular to a given line from an external point so that's what we're going to do so from o here's the perpendicular that we are going to construct so i'm not showing the actual construction steps i'm just giving you the broad steps on how you can uh, do this construction okay so let's say that this line is uh, let's extend it actually to the other side also um like this okay and let's say that this is our line m so basically we have drawn the line m perpendicular to l through the center o of the circle okay now what should be our next step well this line uh intersects the circle at two points so let's take any one of those uh, points so let's take this point here let's call it p and let's take any other point on the on this line m inside the circle so let's take um this point q this point here as q okay so we've taken this point the point of intersection of m with the circle as p and this point inside the circle and on the line m as the point uh, q now just draw a line perpendicular to m through p and a line perpendicular to m through q the first line will become a tangent and the second line will become a secant so let me show you now at p you draw a line perpendicular to m okay so you will get a line like this okay so this um let's call this line t t for tangent and now let's draw a line perpendicular to m through the point q so you will get a line like this okay and let's call this s s for secant so you can see that t is a tangent uh, the line t is a tangent to the circle and it is parallel to the given line l because this is how we have drawn it right because this angle is 90 this angle at p and this angle is also 90 so basically these are corresponding angles so t is parallel to l and similarly s is also parallel to l because we have drawn s perpendicular to m so this angle here is 90 and s is a secant to the circle because it intersects the circle in two different points okay so let me write these steps here so to draw the tangent t we basically uh um, draw the line t perpendicular to m at the point of intersection p the point of intersection of the line m with the circle and to draw the secant to draw any secant um we basically took a point q on the line m inside the circle and then uh we draw a line s perpendicular to m 
at that point Q. So that gives us a secant. So this is how you can construct the tangent and the secant required. Okay, so with this we have completed question number four. To know more about how QMath can help you become a master of math, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program taught by highly experienced and committed teachers.